everyone, Wes here from Family Gamer TV and today we're taking a look at some footage from LEGO Batman 3 which is out later this year. Following on from the events of LEGO Batman 2 at DC Superheroes, Brainiac is using the powers of the Lantern Corps to try and take over the universe by shrinking planets and cities to add to his collection. Batman, aided by the Justice League, must track down the Legion of Doom across the far reaches of the galaxy. So, let's have a look at this new footage and find out what else is in there. So the footage of the game starts with Batman in one of his special suits. Here I think he's in the power suit and this is one of the key components of these LEGO Batman games. The ability to switch the character's powers by putting them in a new suit. Uh, we're also going to see a few more of those throughout this footage. But now you're seeing the Bat Rocket, which is what takes Batman and Robin into space to get to the Watchtower, which has been taken over by the Legion of Doom. Now we're seeing a couple more of the suits. I think we've got Robin's Attractor Suit and Batman's Sensor Suit, but please correct me in the comments because I'm no Lego Batman expert. And obviously Batman and Robin jump in this rocket then, fly off to the Watchtower, but one of the great things about the Bat Rocket in this game is you can use it in some outdoor space combat sequences and it supports co-op too because the bat rocket splits into two for these 2d shoot 'em up segments which are very very similar to a playstation exclusive game called the rezo gun and i'd highly recommend you check that out but once we're done fighting off all the bad guys outside of the watchtower it's down onto the watchtower's surface where we'll get to see some hand-to-hand -hand combat with a few of the other characters. So, once we're down there, we will get to see a multitude of characters. So, first up, we've got Cyborg and The Flash. So, they'll battle around the outside of the Watchtower before we get inside and take on some more of the Legion of Doom's henchmen. Now one of the cool things about Cyborg is he has a stealth suit that turns him into a washing machine and he can hop around in that form, but no one's going to suspect he's really Cyborg. The Flash, as always, has his super speed powers. On top of that, he can spin attack and he can bounce around to help build up some Lego machines and, uh, and other Lego components. Inside the Watchtower, we get to see Batman in one of his cool new suits, the space suit, which allows Batman to fly for the first time. And not only that, he has space lasers too. What could be cooler? He's fighting it out with the henchmen, uh, and the Flash is ably assisting him. And then he switches back to his power suit while the Flash takes out all the bad guys. Now, as we see, we got a bit more inside the watchtower here, and we're in there specifically to save the uh, Martian Manhunter from the Legion of Doom. And at the end of this bit of footage, we see the Joker, who has quite obviously been defeated, and now it's time to head off into the far reach of the galaxy to explore the Lantern World. And that's where the footage ends. We don't get to see that yet. They're keeping that all under wraps but we're looking forward to seeing some of that footage in the future and you can be sure we will bring it to you right here as soon as we get it at Family Gamer TV. So leave us a comment, let us know what you thought about this footage, which suits and which characters are you keen to see. Apparently there's going to be 150 characters in this game. Who's your favourite? Now, make sure you subscribe to Family Gamer TV so you don't miss any of our LEGO Batman videos and all the other cool stuff we've got here. And of course, leave those comments but stay tuned for more from Family Gamer TV.